took quite a few attempts for Sony finally proved they can produce a solid Spider-Man movie without Marvel's help. Of course, it certainly helped getting Chris Miller and Phil Lord on the project. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is about Miles Morales, Shemenki Moore. He's a kid that goes to private school because he won a scholarship. He spends his time hanging out with his criminal uncle Aaron, Mahershala Ali, who is very supportive of Miles' art skills. This is a relationship that his cop father, Brian Tyree Henry, does not encourage. Aaron accidentally brings Miles into the path of a genetically engineered spider, and the origin plays about as you'd expect. What could be largely an average origin story is complicated when Miles encounters Spider-Man, Chris Pine, trying to stop Wilson Fisk, Lee Schreiber, from opening a gate into the multiverse. From this opening, we get introduced to alternate versions of Spider-Man, most importantly Jake Johnson and Haley Steinfeld. Jake Johnson is an alternate Peter Parker whose life has fallen apart. There's a lot of characters here and all of them are fun, even if many are unnecessary. Fun would be the best word to describe this movie. And that's not to say it isn't willing to go dark either. The characters of Miles Morales and Johnson's Peter Parker are well drawn enough, pun intended, that it allows the movie to change tone without feeling unnatural. As far as animation, this might be the first time in a long time that I've seen a big studio make a computer animated movie with its own real style. There's just enough realism to keep you invested with the characters, but a great wealth of vibrant colors and a complete willingness to place comic book style writing, thought bubbles, etc. onto the screen for emphasis works brilliantly. It was clear that Sony intended to use their deal with Marvel to push out as much Spider-Man IP as they can. Venom from a couple months ago is a more typical example of their efforts. With this movie, it's clear they hit upon something truly unique. For a long time, it's been said that Marvel has better live action movies while DC has better animated movies. This is largely a true statement. It's actually rather dumbfounding that Sony, of all the studios, might be the one to establish Marvel as a powerhouse in animation as well. I walked into the movie hoping for something more, but largely expecting another Venom quality Sony cash grab. I left the movie hoping Sony decides to fully explore this universe. The Spider-Verse is well worth entering. Hey, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And if you really love this video, consider visiting my Patreon page. 